found really funny because there are certain categories that I will admit, like I'm I'm not great at presenting, right? Like I, I personally don't cook, don't love to cook, so I stay out of the kitchen at QVC, right? You wouldn't normally think a television set would be a moment of excitement for me, other than, you know, hey, I cannot wait for the sixth and final season of The Crown to come out next month. However, I have two Samsung TVs in my house. And I, I'm happy to tell you why, because it's not just, you know, the, these metric measurements that say, for instance, oh, it's the number one best um, selling TV brand in the country. And year after year after year, they win so many awards for innovation. I mean, they are, they are literally known to have the most premium picture quality. Um, I mean, it's just extraordinary. So funny story, by the way, here's the last look at our last TV TSV until 2024. 4,000 ordered today. With any luck, Joe and I will be watching the Phillies in the World Series. Woo woo! Um, no luck needed. No luck needed, okay. And then the Super Bowl, the Eagles could go. So there's a lot this time of year that is really great for getting a new TV into that main place in the house where you and your nesting family and the ones that are coming to visit too and the grands that are gonna be there looking for the Grinch on TNT, this will change your viewing experience. So again, this is our TSV and it's your last look. You have many sizes to choose from. Let me take you through it because it's the last TV TSV of the year. And by the way, it ships entirely for free. Many of the sizes come with white glove delivery. All right, so let me start you with the smallest, the 43 inch. By the way, these are sliver, sliver thin, okay? This is the 43 inch, amazing for a bedroom. By the way, I know a friend that has a 43 inch in her kitchen because she loves watching cooking shows while she cooks. Then we have the 50 inch. So far, those two sizes are coming in a box to your front door, no signature required. And by the way, I don't think it's white glove delivery, but like, don't you have to sign for any of the bigger ones or something? You Craig? scheduled the delivery 65 and larger. Okay, so. They bring it into your door. Oh, okay, so it kind of, it's white glove-ish. 55 inch, okay, so now for me, I think this would be killer for a bedroom or certainly, you know, a, um, a family room where you don't want like the giant home theater experience. Now let's go to 65 inch. So this is literally the size we have in our family room. And again, nobody beats Samsung. I'm sorry to be partial, but I am. Polity return policy, I haven't said that once tonight. Wow, good, good Sean. Um, I'm gonna drop immediately down just because I'm here and I can. From 65 inch, this is the grand dame, okay? The basement, gaming, movies. Who needs to go to the AMC theater anymore? You just got it in your house. It's incredible, and this now, these are the sizes where you're gonna have to schedule that front door delivery. By the way, we have sold 60,000, 63, probably thousand, Samsung TSVs at QVC. You heard me say it and it's true. It's not only our number one best-selling um, TV in category, the Q60, which this one is called, <coughs> but it's also the number one best-selling brand of TVs in the entire country, year after year after year. 75 inch, and then down 70 inch. This one has been so popular all day. We have less than 100 to go around in the 70 inch. And I just wanna show you the value because again, I know nothing about technology. So when it comes to computers and TVs, I pretty much try and just buy the best because I know nothing about the specs. And a long time ago, um, a couple guys that I really respect who I work with said to me, oh, if you want literally the premium best TV, you get a Samsung. And that's all I've ever bought ever since. Now look at what you're buying with a deal that expires in a few hours at a free shipping and handling. So you can imagine how much it would normally cost to ship something this big. So that's a chunky savings. These are under $450 for 43 inch. That's insane. Um, and as you go up the, up the road to the largest size, 85 inches, you guys, this is a $2,300 TV, it's called a QLED, we'll explain it. Smart TV, yes, comes with something called a solar remote. Are you joking? This is a treat. And if he 
by the way, loves his sports, and you are trying to figure out what to get him for the holidays. I am sorry, but this is slam dunk a All right, um, Craig Smith is here, and this is the last time that he is going to be presenting something that you really don't know this, but like, I what got I so excited for this TSV. Because I really do think Samsung TVs, it, it is like, the, to me, in my opinion, the Mercedes of TVs. And I know nothing about TVs. I just know what people tell me who do. Mm -hmm. And so I would never choose anything else for my home. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. So you're saying you don't know anything about TVs. Do you love a good picture? Absolutely. Okay, this is who I've had a chance to work with today throughout the course of the day. Worked with Rick at midnight, worked with Alberti during the noon show, worked with Kirsten. I forgot to ask Pat this question, working with you now. Pretty much everyone has told me they've got Samsung TVs in their house. Oh, really? Yes. You guys, America, all those, I'm yes. telling all you. All of them told I'm me they have Samsung you. TVs in their house. They're yes. the, they are the best. And listen, mm -hmm. I'm not just saying that. You can Google it. I mean, trust me. You'll see. Okay, so this do you want to start there? Like, they've been around since the late 60s. Yeah. Why are they the best? And I will say LED, QLED, Q this, whatever that, HD, it's, that's where I, you lose me. Yeah. Um, but I, I just happen to know, like, this is the bomb dad of all TVs. Well, first of all, just to show you some of the cool stuff we're doing, why do people love Samsung? This isn't a video that we're watching. I'm actually playing a game off of Xbox right now. Oh, and the cool. reason I'm able to do that is this TV has smart gaming streaming capabilities. So I just brought my Xbox remote control in from home and I'm able to play games. Just like you stream your favorite movie on Netflix, you can stream games on this television Come set. On. With Xbox, with the video GeForce games, all kinds of other contents on there. So that's some of the cool stuff you can do. But the big story, the reason people love this brand, Samsung, Sean, is the picture looks amazing. Amazing. That's the whole thing. When it comes down to it, you mentioned the Q, you got the QLED, you got the 4K, you got all this tech, you know, gobbledygook at times, it feels like. And that makes people go, what the heck does all that mean? thousand percent. Why do you care? Look at these pictures. Yeah. Look at these gorgeous screens. The colors are vibrant. The action is smooth. You can see dark and light on the screen at the same time. It's just when you see a Samsung television, when you go to that store where they have the wall of a bunch of brands yeah, of yeah, TVs, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like, what is that one? Why does that one look better than yeah. the rest? That one, that one, Samsung. That's what it is. All right. So, so explain if you could, like the top line features, because sure. um, this. And by the way, it comes with a two-year warranty, and then if you want to pick up an additional, I think it's three years through Allstate. But nonetheless, last Samsung TSV of the year, last anything TSV of the year, and this literally is the best one in my opinion. But the features are so rich. Where do you start? Well, it starts with the QLED. So when we say QLED, we're talking about LED lighting, like the little light bulbs you have around your house. What Samsung does that's different than so many other brands is they use cool and warm LED lights. Why do we care? Look at the comparison there. Left side of the screen, that's going to be the cheap TV you're going to hear about during the holidays that the stores are trying to get rid of. The one on the right, the one that we're looking at right now, that's Samsung. You see up to a billion different colors because of the lighting that Samsung uses on their television sets. Then we get into the 4K technology, this ultra high def that's become the norm over the last several years. Sean, we think about the holidays. You want to watch your holiday movies with this 4K processor. It boosts everything to 4K quality images. So the movie, Elf, by the way, Elf is 20 years old. It looks a little dated when you watch it. You watch it with this 4K processor, it looks like it was filmed yesterday. So can I ask you something? Okay, sure. keep going, keep going. No, okay, well, yeah, sure. Smart TV capabilities as well, so you can stream all your favorite content, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Nudge Nudge, the QVC HSN Plus app. Plus, Samsung includes their own app, Samsung TV Plus, 190 plus free channels, requires no subscription whatsoever. You can actually use this when you're doing your Google Meet calls to do those video chats. And if you have a Samsung phone, you can do something called multi-view. If you don't have a Samsung phone, you can still do screen mirroring. So take the stuff that's on your phone and wirelessly connect it to this television. It has all of the great tech, but at the end of the day, why do you love it? Because it looks great. And that's what a TV is all about. It look here. Can I just? I want to stand up and show this. Yeah, go show those looks big sizes there. So great, you feel like you can step in to this picture. Like, yeah. like I'm like you feel like you could dive into the ocean. Um, when when that when that scene comes up, I don't know where it is, but it's like you know green right there, green fields, right? You it almost feels three dimensional, like you could reach into the picture. That, remember growing up, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm 50. Growing up, we used to have those, um, 
What, what that, that you would uh, the 3D glasses? Yeah. Yes. Right. Sure. Like, I saw I saw Jaws 3. It was terrible, but, but I wore those glasses. Yes. But do you know what sure. I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. that was state of the art and kind of like progressive. If you could go see one of those movies and wear the goggles, mm -hmm. guys, we're so. George Jetson beyond that. Yes. And I also know um, that, and I don't want to get too deep in this, especially because I know nothing about it, but like, do you see this? Like the veining and the, and the, the, the algae and the details, the pictures, there's something called quantum something. The Samsung TVs have something like more light points than anything else. It's I the mean, light, it's, it's the, Q, what must is the QLED. So the, Q, okay. the QLED is a big story with it. So you look at the lighting that shoots across the screen. You know how the LED light bulbs, you, some of them look kind of bluish and some of them look yes. kind of yellow? Yes. Okay, the yellow ones are called warm lights. The blue ones are called cool, cool lights. lights. Most TV manufacturers, they just use one kind. Why? And that's, well, it's cheaper. It, it's cheaper yeah, and it's right, easier. Right, right, okay. And it, it's a simpler way of doing it. And because of that, you, you get a little bit of a washed out kind of picture. Because Samsung uses the warm and cool LED lights at the same time, that's why when you look up at these trees, you're able to see up to a billion. Here's that veininess you were talking about. In the flower here, crazy. all of that great detail, that's the lighting and the 4K technology. So ultra high def, we're referring to the number of lines of pixels from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. The more pixels, the sharper and more realistic everything looks. That's why everything looks lifelike here. And Samsung makes a difference. I have nothing but Samsungs in my house. You've got Samsungs I, in your I'm house. I'm telling you, I'm this telling is the brand. you. There's a reason they're number one. Yes. It's not just like, oh, I, I like the letters that start with S. No, no it's no, the tech that no. goes in the TV that grabs telling you and pulls you in. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, can I sit back over here with, our, whatever you with want. our fake cheese board? I'm just happy to be. Yeah, don't I, don't touch the brie, by the way. It's a little <laughs> stiff. A little stiff on wait, the brie. Can I, I have a couple uh, questions that I want to ask you. And I was supposed to ask you guys to call in, so I'm sorry mm -hmm. I didn't, but we still have time. Um, call in if you want to share what you love to watch on TV. Couple thoughts. Number one, um, I, the world is getting really complicated, and it mm -hmm. feels like it, it can't like get worse, and then it does, and you're like, wow, okay, so now it's really bad. And I feel like more than ever, a lot of us are becoming, um, our, our footprint is becoming smaller, we're staying home more, we're nesting a lot more with those that we love. Um, we're not traveling as much necessarily, maybe we're saving money. I guess this is a very roundabout way of pointing out that like, after long weeks of work, helping to care for my mom and Jagger who's six and da 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 da, -da mm. and a crazy job in hours, I, I don't want to go anywhere other than just be at home with my family, sure. watching great stuff on TV. And Nothing so it's wrong like, with that. it's this, this is our life when we're not working. And I think sure. it's so worth the investment because educationally or entertainment you will use it love it and watch so much on it and it will be you will be changed for it well we, this is the place we gather around we gather around the television yes, set see, whether it's the big game you said it's you, so you, much easier you, well you started <laughs> i was you, rambling but you started talking about you know the baseball playoffs i mean they're pretty much every sport is playing right now right Acro right across yes. the board the nba actually starts their season in a couple of weeks Everybody else is either in the playoffs, the middle of their season, or something along those lines. Whether it's college football, whether it's the yep. NHL, whether it's still the baseball playoffs, let's all get together, watch the game. Yep. Whose house are you going to watch For it? For sure. Whoever has the best TV. Holiday movies, we're moving into the fall now, right? It's getting darker earlier, mm -hmm. it's getting cooler, mm -hmm. so we're mm -hmm. not out and about running around as much. You want to throw on the sweatpants, climb under the blanket, best. and watch t the movies as a family. I've mentioned it a couple times today. October is my youngest daughter's favorite month. Her favorite holiday is Halloween. Halloween. A couple a couple nights ago we watched the movie It and she's, she's got like a list of five it? other It. The is Stephen that like King a, movie. a what what? The Stephen King one about I've the guy that lives in the it. gutters. Oh, oh it's a, that it's a, sounds It's a horror movie. My daughter great. she loves the horror movies and she loves the <laughs> she mystery. So we, you talked about TV shows. Yeah. We're watching Murders in the Building which is great. Steve Martin, Martin Short. I've heard about that. Is it, it funny? It's phenomenal. It's, is it, is it's it fun. funny or is it dramatic? It's funny. It's a murder mystery, but there's so many little quirky isms What about station all the is it on? It's like on Netflix Hulu. or Hulu? Okay. Yeah, it's on okay, Hulu. Okay, you know what? But, that... we, but my daughter and I, we watch these things together with my wife. We watch this together. It brings us together. Yes, a thousand That's percent. It's how, it's how mm -hmm. divergent generations come together and spend time together and find common ground. It's through what they watch. Okay, so you just mentioned Hulu. Yeah. So for anybody that's not like a techie, sure. where, where do all these little apps come from? Do they just 
populate? Do you have to pay for them? But I mean, this is a smart TV, so you can connect yes. to the internet, right? And for people that aren't techie, the remote control is super easy to use. You simply press the home button. So the Samsung TV Plus 